So let's show it from Shimmer 14, the new ending. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 67, Free Cam. In today's episode, we re-entered with a lot of reflection. Continuing on our mind is this idea of composing in motion. And um, with respect to our work in virtual worlds, working definition, if it, is it a virtual world if I can see myself? Can I see the back of my head? And another key distinction is, can I move my camera around freely? If I'm looking at you, can I move my camera and look at behind you as well as behind me? So free cam is being able to have multiple points of view and to change them at will. So how might this express itself musically is what's uh, coming to our mind here. This is the big aha uh -huh for today. Um, then we reflected a bit further when we were listening to the bass uh, melodies. It almost seems like they have their own scale or something. Uh, a, a lot of different realizations in here. But the key connection to our theme of Buddhist Dilemma about free cam is that the idea of the Buddhist Dilemma theme is that we're kind of locked in this permanent cycle of perpetration and uh, remediation, perpetration and remediation. And it's just inherent. It's within us. And we're within it. And when you can see it, you can see it. When you can't see it, you can't see it. So the free cam is when we can see the wheel, our, our, our cam is free. That's the idea. Uh, a bunch of other stuff. So um, what we did is, first of all, we went through our score and pulled out what are the bass motifs alone and this is what they sound like pulled out And what we like about identifying that in a separate score is you can almost hear the story being told. There's literally 14 phrases here, and it's really telling the story of Buddha's dilemma on the baseline alone, we feel. So that's awfully cool. Um, so we did that. We did make a final adjustment here, and this, this last syncopated cadence, the thing is all of the bass lines are syncopated. And um, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, and here we have one, two, three, one, one, two, three, uh, anyway, like that. So there's a one beat in there. They all have a one beat in them except for things like this, uh, but here, for example. One, 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 two, three. So that's different from the backbone, which is always one, 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 one. So that really uh, adds a lot. And also when we have silence, the silence gives us a syncopation. And finally, we added what we call the free cam part. And our, again, the idea of the free cam is it floats above it all. And what we really did is we went through and we matched to the cadence. So every time we saw a, a 2442, like 2442 ambient ambivalent, we put the entire C2442 scale on top of it. 
and that gives us what we call passing notes. In other words, there's only three notes out of the scale in the chord, and so the other five are being played in passing. And it, the free cam is above it all. It's just it can go anywhere at once. It had any dynamic at once. That's our that was kind of a rule of thumb today. We said let it go, let it fly, and we worked out how to do that. So what we're going to do now is play you the updated version of Buddha's Dilemma, and that'll take us home. So that concludes today's stream. We really love what this is adding and listening to it. It actually makes the other parts stand out stronger and louder uh, and uh, at selected intervals. It's just really coming together nicely, gelling and interacting. Um, and also having pulled out the motifs on their own score, which was this one, we're hearing them even more strongly now as we play through the entire piece. So that concludes today's episode. Um, our ideas for next time are to keep working with the composition. Uh, we're starting to hear more motifs in the higher register in the backbone. And we picked out a couple of those. And then we want to listen line by line for fine tuning. Uh, and then we want to keep working with the animation. Now that we have a shimmer part or uh, what we call a free cam uh, and a bass, and a backbone and an arpeggiation. We actually are now having up to four things that we could show separately. And then we want to keep on brainstorming this idea of composing in motion. So thank you for your time, curiosity, attention, and interest. A shout out to Miss Cleo stopping by. Um, 
tune in next time to see what happens next. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.